Hi, Simon Road friends. Pastor Chuck here at the church. I just wanted to take a few moments to bring you up to speed on where we're at here and what the situation is here at Simon Road Church of God. Well, first off, um, as, as we all know, um, it's pretty much inescapable. You can't turn on your television or even boot up your computer without the coronavirus capturing the headlines. And uh, it's no exception here in Boardman. Um, as we all know, uh, our situation in society has caused us to uh, make the decision, uh, the difficult decision after much prayer and gathering as much information as we could. It was decided to suspend all uh, gatherings here at the church for the week of March 15th. And after, after making that decision, it was decided by your leadership group here at the church that we would come together and look at things on a week-by-week -week basis, praying and, and just looking at all the data that comes in from our healthcare experts on being able to come together safely that we, we may worship in the house of the Lord. Well, unfortunately, as, as things are going right now, um, things are progressing in the other direction, and it still is not safe for us to come together. And uh, friends, your health and well-being means the world to me, folks. And uh, we are being very cautious in this, and we are doing our best to protect you all. So it has been decided that we are going to suspend all gatherings here at the church through the end of March. And that is a very difficult decision to make, but yet it is a, it is a decision that is made out of love and concern for everyone's health and well-being. So I hope that you understand the decision-making process in that. So in the meantime, where does that leave us here at Simon Road Church? Well, um, if you look around, look behind me, it's pretty quiet here. Uh, it was very quiet this Sunday. And... Um, Although it may be quiet here in the church, and things might be a little quiet out there in the world, out there on the roads and the highways and in the stores, make no mistake about it. God is working in this situation. And God is still in control of everything that's going on around us. And he will work this out for his glory and for his honor. And I truly believe that. You know, I'm reminded of a verse in 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 3, verse 3. And it says, But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. In times where we're not able to gather here at the church, just remember, the Lord continues to lift us up, continues to protect us. He is faithful to his children. And we should take comfort and assurance in that. Friends, after not having services on this Sunday, this past Sunday, uh, it was decided by your leadership team here at the church uh, that we would uh, suspend all gatherings here until the end of March. And at that time, we will, we will reassess the situation. We will gather all the information that we can and make a good, educated decision on where to go next. So that's, that's where we're at. Well, if we're not going to meet at the church and we're not going to be together for a little while, then, then where do we go from here? Well, I'm glad you asked. There, there are a few things that are currently in place and we're working on in development and should be up and running here rather shortly. Uh, the first thing is, uh, I pray that we're supporting each other by calling each other, uh, just giving an encouraging word, checking up on how people are feeling. Uh, we have quite a few people in our congregation that have been out with illnesses, been in the hospital, been to doctors, uh, just released from nursing homes, and, and we're so thankful for that. But 
we need to be an encouragement to those and just check on our brothers and sisters. Make sure that they're doing okay and if there's anything that we can do to assist them, we need to be doing that. Uh, the second thing that we have uh, currently in place is that uh, each day we are sending out a daily devotional message. Uh, I've been, been putting those together and giving those to Barb Carterelli and she has been sending it out either through postal or through email. So between those two forms of media, you should be receiving those. If not, please give me a call or give Barb a call, and we'll be sure to get you taken care of that way. That is a good way each and every day just to take a short period of time and just meditate on the Word and just put God back at the forefront of what we're doing. We're focusing so much on this health care issue we need to be focusing more on Jesus. So that's the purpose of those devotional messages. Um, another thing that uh, we're working on uh, that I am praying that we can get this up and running by this coming Sunday is to be broadcasting our uh, service this Sunday online via either Facebook Live or Tape Delay through a Facebook posting on the Simon Road Church of God Facebook page, or uh, it may even we might even have to go to a YouTube uh, platform. Uh, so when that is developed and all the kinks are worked out on it, uh, I will be letting you know. That way we can all come together, even though through it's even though it's through a video camera, we are all able to gather together to worship our Lord and Savior this Sunday. Friends, one last thing before I go, and this is something that a lot of people may have put on the back burner or may have forgotten in all the hustle and bustle of this uh, chaos out there, but friends, I encourage you to stay, cons to stay consistent in your giving to the church. Friends, even though we're get not gathering here at the church, we still need to maintain our stewardship and in our giving to the church. Our church may be quiet right now, may not be people hustling and bustling through here, but we still have those financial commitments such as our utilities that we need to take care of. So I'm, in tr I'm trusting you folks out there that we'll, we will find a way to stay consistent in our giving to the church. And there are a few ways that I can suggest. First off, if you have a tither offering that you have for the church, you can address it, put it in, in an envelope, and mail that to the church via United States Postal. And we'll be sure to get that deposited so that we can take care of our, our bills here. The second thing that you can do is, if you're out and about running to the store, to the pharmacy, or running an errand, uh, I will be at the church Monday through Thursday during my usual office hours from 10 to 4. And you can drop by the church, and uh, I'd be really glad to receive that offering for you. Uh, the third option that we have, if you're not really wanting to go out of the house, you want to stay inside, which that's fine. Uh, then what you can do, uh, give me a call here at the church via the office phone or my cell phone, and we can arrange a time that I could drop by your house and pick that up for you. But friends, it is so important, especially in this time where social distancing is the practice of the, of the day, to where we don't get too distant from the church, that we don't forget our obligations and, and, and our duty to maintain the Lord's house. So I encourage you to keep up your giving to the church. So friends, let, let me close our time with this. We are in unprecedented times. Uh, most of us have never seen anything like this. Uh, the closest thing I can, that comes to my mind is the uh, terrorist attacks of 9-11. But this is something different. Our times may change. But our God does not change. He continues to love us. He continues to remain faithful to us. He continues to provide for us. God is always 
faithful to his children. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for that blessed assurance that we have. So friends, take care of yourselves. Look out for one another. And remember, be encouraged. You are loved. May God bless you. Until next time.